G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is just basic probability. Uh, it's a nice introduction to probability, and there's going to be a series of probability videos coming out. So, if you're new to probability, this is probably a really, really good start for you. So, first off, in maths, when we are talking probability and chance, what we are talking about is how likely something is to happen. And I'm just going to go launch straight into some examples with these because I think it's the best way to explain it. So the example I'm going to have a look at is say I threw a coin in the air. When we throw a coin in the air, we have two possibilities of what might happen. Okay, the first is it might land on heads. Okay, and there's heads. Or it could land on tails. I am not going to attempt to draw anything for that. Okay, so uh, the way that we write this is as follows. When we talk about assigning how likely something is to happen, we write it like this. The probability, say, for heads happening, and we write this as PR for probability of heads, is equal to, and you'll probably agree, there's a, a half chance of that occurring, okay? And the probability of tails happening, there's also a half chance of that occurring. There's a 50-50 chance. There's a one out of two chance of heads occurring. There's a one out of two chance of tails occurring. Of the two possible outcomes, one of the, out of the two outcomes, one of them is heads and one of them is tails. So I'll go through a couple more of these. Okay, in the next example, what we're going to have a look at is a dice here. Okay, so we roll a dice, it's a six sided dice. Now, first off, when we roll a dice, it's important to think how many possible outcomes are there. And you might say, okay, there's six possible outcomes, there's six outcomes. What are those outcomes? Well, we could get a 1, we could get a 2, we could get a 3, we could get a 4, we could get a 5, we could get a 6. It will land on one of those particular sides up, okay? So, I can just ask a couple of probability questions with these, and we'll see how you go with them. What's the probability of, say, rolling a 4? So, out of the six possible outcomes, there is only one 4. There is possibility of 1 one four, like there's one of these, out of an entire six possible outcomes. So there's a one out of six chance. What's the probability of rolling an even number? Okay, now you might look at it and say, okay, well how many possible even numbers are there? There's one, two, three. Two, four, and six, they're our even numbers. Three of those out of a possible six total outcomes. Okay, what about this one? What's the probability of rolling a Seven. <laughs> well, how many sevens are here? There's no sevens. There's no chance out of the six possible outcomes. Okay, so you're probably getting an idea of how we can assign basic probability here. And there's a basic rule for it, which is this. Okay, the probability of an event occurring is equal to the number of different ways it can occur. Some of them said the number of favorable outcomes that occur over the total number of outcomes. So, an example of that might be when we're looking at how many ways a dice could be rolled evenly, you know, the number would come up would be even. There's three different ways we can get that. So it'd be three over a possible total number of outcomes of six. Okay, so the probability of an event occurring, say rolling a uh, an even number, would be three out of six. And so this is a really, really handy and important uh, thing to think of with probability. Another thing that's important to think of with probability is probably, I guess, the entire range of probabilities that we can have. And this goes across from, say, something being totally impossible. Okay, something which is impossible. Um, and it has a 0% chance of occurring. Okay, uh, whether it is with a dice, that might say you, I said, what's the chance of you throwing a 7? And you'd say, okay, there's a 0 out of 6 chance of that occurring. We would say with this that there is a probability of zero. It ranges right through to over here where we could have absolute certainty. Okay, uh, I guess I will just write that down as certainty. Okay, there's a hundred percent chance of it occurring. Uh, you know, with a dice that we roll any number between one and six. There's a six out of six chance of that occurring and we would say with this that the probability is equal to 1, because 6 divided by 6 is equal to 1, and 100% decimalized is equal to 1. Now, in between that, I guess you could actually then say, well, halfway in between that, I guess here, we have that 50% chance of something occurring, okay, it's a equal chance of it occurring, I guess equal, um, 
you know, the probability you can think of being three out of six, say, rolling a uh, even or a number, or then even rolling a num an odd number, the probability here would actually be 0 0.5. Now, you're going to see here, as we go between here, as we go from equal chance this way, things become increasingly unlikely. And as we go this way, things become increasingly likely to occur. It's an important thing to get because a bit later on, it saves you a bit of work in terms of, you know, there's certain things where if you know that the probability of something occurring, all the total probabilities are one, it's really, really handy for working things out a bit later on. So just, just trust me on that. So I'm going to get you to do a few examples with this. Okay, for the first example, I'm going to pretend we have some marbles. We have four red marbles, uh, we have two blue marbles, and we have three yellow marbles. And if we were to pick one of these marbles out at random, okay, so we just pick one of these marbles out at random, what would be the probability of getting a red? I'll get you to answer that. What about the probability of getting a blue? What about the probability of getting a green? What about the probability of getting any colour? Like any colour at all, uh, and I don't mean like obviously pink or whatever, I mean the probability of getting a red, yellow or blue. So I'll get you to work these out. Okay, probability of getting a red. There is one, two, three, four favourable outcomes out of a possible one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine outcomes. The probability of getting a blue, there is two possible outcomes out of a possible nine. How did you go so far? The probability of getting a green, what did you get for this? Hey, there's zero greens out of a possible nine. And the probability of getting any colour, a red, a yellow or a blue, well that's a 9 out of 9 chance, that's 100% certainty that you are going to get a colour when you pick one of those marbles. Okay, how'd you go with those? I'll go through one more example. Okay, with this example, I am going to use the word probability itself. So say we were to get these letters and they were to be, ran one of these letters was randomly chosen. Okay, we were to randomly choose uh, this letter, okay, or this letter or this letter. What would be the probability of that letter being chosen being a B. What would be the probability of the letter chosen being a Y? What about the probability of getting a vowel? Okay, that is an A, an E, an I, an O, or a U. What about the probability of getting a letter? Okay, uh, when you choose a letter, what's the probability of you actually getting a letter? Um, yeah, that'll do us, I think, for the minute. So the probability of getting a B, there is 2 out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 uh, possibilities. There is, probability of getting a Y, there is a 1 possibility out of 11. Uh, the probability of getting a vowel, there's 1, 2, 3, 4 favourable possibilities out of a total of 11 possibilities. The probability of getting a letter at all, well there's, you're going to get a letter, don't know which one it's going to be, but there's an 11 out of 11 chance. What about this one? We'll go one step further. What's the probability of getting the letter C? And you might go, okay, there's actually no chance of that out of 11. So if you can get this straight away, you're pretty good with the basics of probability. Now it is going to get harder. A bit later on we are going to look at uh, you know, different probabilities and, and different series that are going to occur. But hey, don't worry, if you've got this bit started, you'll, you'll do okay and it'll lead you in good stead to get on with the next stuff. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Really glad to have had you here. Ah, uh, look, if you've liked this video, you know, you know, hit that like video, hit the like button really, really hard, okay? Uh, and thanks for watching. Anyway, see you later. Bye.